there welcome to my channel let's talk today about a topic that I know many of you have been waiting for about sexual energy how to increase sexual energy and I have 10 different ways number one is food and herbs so food and herbs we have things like spicy food cayenne garlic ginseng whatever is going to fit in your personal diet and health considerations chocolate cacao and there's a lot of herbs especially for men or women so look into what is right for you and hydrate with water it is very important number two yoga for the pelvis so pelvic floor or hip yoga get that area open and Tantra yoga working with the entire spine awakening the energy awakening the entire body so yoga that really opens and gets the energy moving and open chakras especially the sacral chakra number three this may surprise you walking fluid walking not jogging which can be a little more constricted but walking, taking long, fluid strides. You can do this around town in the city, or on a treadmill, or out in a park or beach. Anywhere you can walk, just to get those long movements and just let go and stride, especially if you do a lot of sitting, or all day standing in one spot. Number four, put on clothing or certain colors that make you more sensual, more alive, just get you feeling in the right mood. Number five, Qigong or Tai Chi for building energy and removing out old stagnant energy. A nice practice to build energy and of course Tantra Yoga does that as well. Number six, be around energetic people that you find attractive either physically or emotionally preferably both but you may notice when you're around people certain people kind of just get your blood pumping um you may not want to date or be relationships with them they might just be friends or just people that just after being with them and while you're with them you may just feel more sexual energy pumped up and probably people that celibate people would avoid. Those are who to look for. And it brings me to my next tip, which is dancing. So maybe you can find a dance class or a movement class where you're around other people that are more sexual, more open. And don't worry if you see someone that's a very sexual person, but they don't spark you. Not all sexual energy is healthy or over-sexualized people. Just look for people that get that going for you. So the next tip, dancing. Dance in any way that gets you flowing, that you like. It doesn't have to be organized. It can even be dancing while you're cooking. Put on great music, especially drum music, you know. So dancing and moving around to great music. Number eight, hot baths. So hot baths or warm baths to loosen the body, to just feel relaxed and more sensual, maybe adding some sensualizing essential oils or some dead sea salt. And if you don't like hot baths or it's really hot out, like now in Florida, you can also go somewhere that you can float, like go to the ocean when the waves are a little low and just breathe there and float, letting the ocean move you and see how that feels. I know it makes me feel more sensual, alive and letting go and sea salt and the salt air is really good for detoxing and letting go of bad energy and de-stressing. Number nine. Getting a professional massage. So a professional massage that de-stresses and relaxes and getting the energy moving up the spine. 
So you may not want to get a massage by your partner or give your partner a massage if it's a type of massage that kind of constricts or it's too painful. Um, some people that aren't trained in massage, their partners will say that the massage is so painful it desexualizes them or it kind of pushes the sexual energy back down the spine and makes them feel less sexual. Of course, you can take couples massage classes. The other issue with partner massage is a partner can pick up on if you're just doing it to get sex. So especially if it's just like a five, 10 minute massage and it always leads to sex, in the beginning they may like that, but eventually it's going to be a turn off. So get trained in couples massage, but also go find a professional masseuse and get a nice energetic massage. And I'm not talking about a tantric massage or happy ending massage, just a massage to relax. So whatever you enjoy. And number 10, this is the most mystical perhaps, crystals. Wear crystals or stones or have them in your pocket that are for sexual energy. My favorite is garnet. Those were my 10 tips and I know there are more, maybe comment below to let people know what your tips are for increasing sexual energy. And you can find plenty of Tantra Yoga videos and meditations on this channel and my website to help you expand and grow your sexual energy and for sensual healing, sexual healing as well. And just silent meditation and other practices for Tantra, not just sexual energy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I did.